Right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well. Welcome to today's video, which is on Chelsea's new look, Chelsea's rebuild, the reboot, the entire reboot of the system in West London of Chelsea Football Club. Arguably the most important time in the last 15 years for Chelsea Football Club. And there's a lot of stuff to talk about in relation to that. But before we do get into today's content, guys, please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and make sure you do hit the bell notifications icon because I upload every single darn day and I want you guys to keep up with the content. And if you want to help a brother out, feel free to like this video. All right, getting into it. So why is this such an important and different time for Chelsea over the last 15 years? Well, of course I say last 15 years because Obviously, Chelsea's biggest shift is when Roman Abramovich came in, got Jose Mourinho in, opened the checkbook, and then changed Chelsea forever. Chelsea, ever since that moment, have been kind of playing generally under the same model. Getting successful European coaches, get in successful European players, mix them with a couple of maybe English players and generally win trophies. That has served Chelsea incredibly well. They are the most successful English team this century in terms of winning major honours. But as things change in football's current climate and how teams look like they need to be more conditioned from the board above and in terms of actually preparing for a philosophy and an ethos from the ground up in the club, you can no longer sort of rely on this mercenary system that served Chelsea so, so well. And really, all these changes that have been forced upon Chelsea Football Club over these last few months with the transfer ban and, you know, having to use the academy, which we'll talk about in a second, and having to get Frank Lampard in, it's actually a blessing in disguise. It's the perfect time to act as a catalyst for all these changes that really should have been implemented in the club sooner. So let's start with figures in and around the club. One of Chelsea's biggest problems is having football men around the club. This is actually a huge problem for loads of sort of top tier English football teams. But Chelsea have always suffered not having the right people around the club, not having the right buffer between the coach, the owner, the management staff, everyone. Obviously Michael Emanalo actually did a really good job of that when he was at Chelsea and then since he departed Chelsea suffered from his absence. This new look Chelsea is perfectly balanced with all of that. They've got Frank Lampard in, obviously he's an incredibly intelligent young coach that knows the DNA of the club backwards but it's more than that. They've brought in Jody Morris which is the incredibly important connection to the academy and won everything as the academy coach and by all accounts is a good coach himself. They've also got people like Eddie Newton on the coaching staff and have promoted Joe Edwards as well so there's a lot of intelligent young coaches that have worked with the young players in the academy that are now in and around the first team with new coach Frank Lampard. Frank himself has also got a lot of experience within English football and winning at the highest level in English football. Sure he's learning on the job a little bit as a coach, but in terms of how in tune he is with football's current climate, he's a really prime candidate. So at this point, there's got no big egos as a coach. You don't need these buffers. In fact, the whole coaching team are really sort of open and communicative with each other. They can talk to their players all comfortably, they can talk to people higher up in the club comfortably, and they're all in the same page, and there's no defensive walls of egos. So with a joint vision, everyone can work work together well and everyone can have a good open flowing conversations or certainly everyone's on the same page and everyone's moving in the right direction and there'll be no mercenary coach that's just coming in and out for you know maybe a job on his CV to make him look better. All these coaches don't have ambitions to work away from Chelsea Football Club. Now that is huge if you think about that. Chelsea are looking to get the band back together generally, like bringing people back like Makaleli to the club. But a really important thing as well that's gone under the radar a little bit is bringing in Big Peter Cech back to the club as technical advisor. This essentially is a football director's role or a sporting director or you know a director of football, whatever you want to call it. An incredibly important role in a modern day super club. Someone to sit above 
do certain research on how football is in Europe in the modern day and basically develop and nurture an ethos from the ground up. Sure, Pezacek hasn't done this before, but he's got an incredibly good relationship with Roman Abramovich, Frank Lampard, all the staff, and he's only just come out of the game, so he's fresh, he's got it all in his head, and he's very much in tune with the modern day game. Of course, he's an incredibly intelligent individual, and you'd imagine he'd learn on the job very, very well. So, the entirety of the staff at this point are looking incredibly appropriate for developing a new wave of or a new ethos, I guess, of football at Chelsea Football Club. You got Frank Lampard, a young sort of manager that wants to play expansive, direct, defensive football. You've got him surrounded by intelligent young youth coaches that know young players and know how to play in the modern game. And you've got a young, intelligent sporting director, and they're all basically on the same page and they all want to move in the same direction. And I'd like to reiterate, none of these people are here to just get it on their CV and move on. They're all completely devoted to Chelsea Football Club moving forward. Chelsea in the past have often had plug and play mercenary staff as well as players. So already this is a whole new dawn for the Blues essentially. So what is this ethos? What is this new dawn? What is this reboot? Well, largely it's using Chelsea's academy. People make a very, very strong argument for Chelsea's academy being the best in the world. Now with that, something Roman Abramovich has always wanted is to bring through these youngsters into the first team. Now Chelsea was known for having these sort of European mercenaries sort of coming in and just getting paid a lot of money and making a sort of a kind of a Galactico team and then just clearing up domestically I guess. Alright, it's important to note here, Chelsea aren't going for like a Brexit FC with just loads of young English lads. No, not at all. They want to bring through the academy kids, which not are, aren't exclusively English, but obviously a lot of them are. And it won't be exclusively in the squad either, not at all. If you look at Chelsea's balance, that some of their greatest players are a bit more seasoned internationals that you can't, you know, you'd imagine they won't be going anywhere. Obviously, Kepa, Rudiger, N'Golo Kante, Jorginho, Kovacic, Pulisic, all these players, Emerson Palmieri as well, they're gonna stay in the team. But these academy youngsters will be coming through. Ruben Loftus-Cheek, hudson Adoy, Mason Mount, Tammy Abraham, Reese James, and like Tamori as well. All of these players can be first team players, and the majority of them could be in the starting 11. Now, this is really important for a couple of reasons. One of them is something that I've mentioned previously in the video, how they're not mercenaries, they want to play for Chelsea. They're not some, you know, player that's just come in who's got a big pay rise, who probably imagines he'll be in this country for a couple of years if he gets comfortable with rainy England, etc, etc. All these kids are all in. They dream of playing for Chelsea. This is what they want to do. This is what they've been working for their whole lives. And it's a bonus that they know the coaching staff. They've idolised Frank Lampard. It's all sort of fallen into place perfectly. The second really important point about all these youngsters coming into the first team is they've played together for years and years and years. What really impressed me, um, Mason Mount obviously got called up to the England squad and he did a press conference today and he was really, really impressive the way he spoke about, you know, just working hard, moving forward. And he explained how him and Tammy are linking up incredibly well, but they've been playing together for years. They've won everything um, at youth level for years. They've just been used to succeeding in every sort of level. So of course, you know, it's no surprise that that's continued at the next level in the Premier League. So it's not just all these players want to play for Chelsea and they, you know, they're not looking for a stepping stone. This is their final destination as far as they're concerned. This is their dream. But also they have the chemistry already. They've been playing the modern way. They've, they're still so young. They've been coaching in modern football more recently than you know older players but they've got the chemistry they've got the interplay with each other that means so much more and if you look at teams like Manchester United that have tried to buy decent players and plug them in and it just fails these days especially when you've got such like well-oiled machines like Manchester City and Liverpool now obviously they're not using like Academy FC like Chelsea would use but they're working at such a high level now, you can't take the risks with these plug-and-play players anymore. So Chelsea's reboot is good for a multitude of reasons, like I've said in the video. It's stable, it sh makes use of what is arguably the world's best academy. It 
brings through just the youngsters that dream of playing for Chelsea and have better chemistry with each other. And the coaching staff, like the youngsters, they want to be at Chelsea. This is their final destination. It's not a stepping stone. Frank Lampard, his, you know, top dream manager's job is at Chelsea. He's there. It'll be the same with his coaching staff, with Eddie Newton, Jody Morris, Joe Edwards. This is where they want to be. And of course, big pair to check in that role. Everyone is where they consider their final resting place in terms of work. Chelsea fans and people around football for a long time have been saying Chelsea need a reboot. They need a football man on the board or on a desk upstairs. They need some people that know what the club means around the coaching staff. They need some people that want to play for Chelsea that aren't these like European mercenaries anymore. All of that has happened at Chelsea recently. Now you could say that's been imposed potentially because of the transfer ban but regardless it's happened and there's so many positives to take and like I said it's not like they're only playing English lads they've got a wonderful mix of European players but also they have the pathway from the academy now which is perfect genuinely obviously it's a results game and if the results don't come in it's just a nice idea that floated away but in terms of what people said Chelsea need and what Chelsea fans wanted at the club it is literally all happening right now like people kind of forget like it's almost surreal like the academy lads are in the Chelsea's greatest player is the coach he's got youth coaches in as his assistant Petr Cech's come in as a technical director it's literally everything at once you can expect more and more Chelsea players to be populating that England team as well I imagine Southgate will start sniffing around Tamori, Tammy Abraham, Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Callum hudson Doy. they will all be in the squad I think maybe come the Euros and maybe Barkley still as well if he can keep Southgate sweet. So it just goes to show Chelsea's moving in the right direction. Obviously they need to get the results, but in terms of how the club's structured, how they want to play in the modern day game, and how everything's working, it's all pretty much going in the right direction. Anyway, what do you guys think? Do you think this Chelsea reboot is perfect? Do you think Chelsea you know would have done this if there wasn't a transfer ban let me know your thoughts get in the comments below and comment on the stuff i have been talking about if you have enjoyed this video guys please do like the video as that helps me out a lot and you are welcome to follow me on social media at football yannick that is at football yannick on both twitter and instagram other than that guys i'm done i'm gonna keep it moving you enjoy the football and i will see you later you ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck i'ma get it how i'm living i'ma walk the walk Outline my lines, I rap through thought Body bag the verse, outline the chalk In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I laugh me baby